Hi, welcome back to the course Data Mining with Weka. I'm uh, Ian up here in New Zealand and this is uh, lesson 1.2. Remember there are five classes in this course and each class consists of about six lessons. So this is the second lesson of the first class and we're going to explore the Explorer, the Weka Explorer interface. Actually first we're going to download the Weka system. This is something you're going to have to do on your computer. We're going to download it from this URL, so without delay, let's go straight there. Here we are. This is www.cs.waikato.ac.nz slash ml slash Weka. And I'm going to go, you can read about Weka here, but I'm going to go straight to the download button and download and install Weka on my computer. I'm running on a Windows machine here. But there are versions down at the bottom you can see for Mac OS and Linux and so on. So you need to download the appropriate version for your machine. We want Weka 3.6.10. That's the latest uh, version of Weka. Uh, so I'm going to uh, download a self-extracting executable without the Java Virtual Machine. I already have the Java Virtual Machine on my computer. So uh, I'm going to click here, but you're going to need to do whatever whatever is appropriate for your computer. Uh, let's just save it here. So while it's downloading, just uh, let's have a word about the pronunciation of the word Weka. It's called Weka. We don't like calling it weaker system. It's not weaker. It's Weka pronounced to rhyme with Mecca. That's the name of the bird. That's the name of our software, Weka. So I think now it might have downloaded. I'm going to uh, open it. Yes, I'm happy with this. Um, this is a setup wizard, which is a standard kind of setup wizard. We're installing Weka 3.6.10. I'm just going to keep clicking next here. Yes, I'm happy with this GNU uh, public license. I'm going to have a full install. I'm going to install it in the default place. Just need to remember the name of this place. We're going to need to visit there in a moment. I'm going to install the whole thing. It's going to take a couple of minutes. I'm uh, just off for a cup of coffee. I'll be back in a second. OK, now it's installed. Let's just carry on here. I want to click Finish, but actually I'm not going to start Weka. I'm going to un uncheck that and click Finish, because there are a couple of things I want to do first. Uh, so let's go and see where Weka is. It's on uh, my computer uh, in Program Files. And uh, it should be down here. Yes, Weka 3.6. I'm going to just create a shortcut to that because we're going to be using it a lot in this course. Create shortcuts. It's going to put it on the desktop. That's fine. I'll just stick it there. And then I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to go inside this folder. I'm going to look at the data file. Where is data? The data folder. This contains a bunch of data sets we're going to be using. And I'm going to take this folder and copy it and put it somewhere convenient. So let's cut that and I'm going to just put it in my Documents folder. There it is. And I'm just going to rename it, I think. I'll rename it Weka Datasets. Cool. So I'm all, all set. There it is. I finished installing Weka. I don't think I need this anymore. And I don't think I need this anymore. I've got my shortcut to Weka here. Ah, I made my shortcut to the wrong place. I meant to make the shortcut to uh, this here. Let me just make a shortcut here. Weka, create shortcut, put it on the desktop. That's the one I want. So now when I click here, it will open Weka. Okay. Back to the slide. Uh, so there are four interfaces in Weka. The Explorer, that's the one we're going to be using throughout this course. We're just using the Explorer. Uh, but also there's the Experimenter for performance comparisons, uh, large-scale performance comparisons for different machine learning methods on different data sets. 
there's a knowledge flow interface, which is a graphical interface to the uh, Weka tools, and there's a command line interface. But we're just going to use the Explorer, so let's get on with it. Here's the Explorer, and across the top there are uh, five uh, panels, the pre-process panel, the classify panel, these are actually greyed out because I haven't opened a file yet. Uh, there's the classify panel, which where you kind of build classifiers for uh, data sets. Clustering, another uh, procedure that uh, Weka is good at, although we won't be talking about clustering in this course. Association rules, attribute selection, and visualization. In this course, we're going to be using mainly the pre-process panel to open files and so on, the classify panel to experiment with classifiers, and the visualize panel to visualize our data sets. So I'm going to open a data set. Uh, the data set I'm going to open is called the Weather Data. It's a little toy data set that we'll be seeing a lot of in this course. Uh, it's about uh, 14 instances, 14 days. And for each of these days, we've got recorded five, the values of five attributes. Four to do with the weather, outlook, temperature, humidity, windy. And the fifth play is whether or not we're going to play a particular unspecified game. So actually, what we're going to be doing is predicting the play attribute from the other attributes. But let's not worry about that at the moment. Let's just open the data set and take a look at it in Weka. So uh, here's my uh, documents. Here's the Weka data sets. This is what I copied. And I'm going to open weather.nominal.arf. All uh, Weka uh, data files are called ARF files. We'll talk about that later on. So this is the weather data. And just ignore these colorful bars down here at the moment. There are 14 instances. Those correspond to the 14 days that we saw in the data set on the slide. And for each day, we've got five attributes, outlook, temperature, humidity, windy, and play. So if we select one of these attributes, outlook is selected at the moment, we can see the values the values for the Outlook attribute were sunny, overcast, and rainy. And these are the number of times they appear in the data set. Five sunny days, four overcast days, five rainy days for a total of 14 uh, days, 14 instances. If we look at the temperature attributes, we've got hot, mild, and cool are the possible values. And these are the number of times they appear in the data set. Let's go to the play attribute. There are two values for play, yes or no. And now let's look at these two bars here. Uh, blue corresponds to yes, and uh, red corresponds to no. And if you look at one of the other attributes, like outlook, you can see that when the outlook is sunny, this is like a histogram, there are three no instances and two yes instances. When the outlook is overcast, there are four yes instances and zero no instances. So these are like a kind of histogram of the attribute values in terms of the attribute we're trying to predict. It makes it kind of useful to click around and visualize your data. So we've opened the weather data, weather.nominal.arf, and uh, we've looked at the uh, attribute values and uh, the attributes uh, in Weka. Uh, one more thing I want to do before we summarize here, I want to go to the Edit Panel. If I go to Edit Panel, I see the uh, data in the form that it was on the slide, with the 14 days down here and the five attributes across here. So this is another kind of view of the data. And I can actually change this data set. So if I click here, I can change this No to Yes. Or if I click here, I can change on this day the uh, outlook from rainy to sunny. If only it were so easy in real life to change a day from rainy to sunny. And then I can click uh, OK, and now we've got this edited data set, which we could save if we like. We haven't saved any of this. The data set on the disk is still the same as it was. I'm not going to save it, and I don't think you should save it, because we're going to be using this data set uh, quite a bit in this course. Okay, so this is what we've done in this lesson. We've installed Weka. We've got the data sets. 
We've opened the Explorer. We've uh, looked at a data set, the weather.nominal.arf data set. We've looked at the attributes and their values. We've edited the data set and we didn't save it. You can read more about this in the course text. Uh, section 1.2 talks about the weather data and chapter 10 is a little introduction to the uh, Weka uh, system. And now you should go and do the activity associated with this lesson. Good luck and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye for now.